Hello and welcome to Techiness. My name is Chandra and I am a technology explorer. In this video, we will talk about well-known open ID configuration, the teams with which I have worked on, right? So they are not aware of what is this well-known open ID configuration. And the truth is that this is should be the starting point of your authorization server journey or right if you are working with OR2 open ID connect, this should be your first question in your mind. What is my well-known open ID configuration? This why why this is called well-known? Absolutely correct. This is well-known because of this endpoint only you will be able to understand the capabilities of authorization server what are the endpoints that are exposed by the authorization server okay so as i was telling you as per the rfc it is the metadata of an authorization server retrieved from a well-known location in a json document format and it explains the endpoints and the capabilities so on the screen you can see number one is issuer right with this we will get to know who is the issuer of this authorization server what is the authorization endpoint? So if you are doing an authorization code flow, so the, you will be using this URL. Then token endpoint from where you will be retrieving the tokens, registration endpoint, which will be used for dynamic client registration and JWKS URI to get the public JWKS. Okay. Now, when I was talking about capabilities, so what are the response types supported? What are the response modes supported? Then grant types right then subject type supported scope supported all these are the different attributes so let's try to understand from key clock where i can get the well-known open id configuration yeah so we are on the realm settings of key clock you can say it is on the master realm if you click on realm settings you can see endpoints over here so here you can see open id endpoint configuration if i open this so this is the place where you will get to know about the capabilities of an authorization server, which is supporting what to and open ID connect protocols, right? Issuer we can see, this is the auth slash realms master, then endpoint authorization endpoint. So if the consumer of the application, right? The client which you are created in uh, key clock, so they will be using these endpoints to communicate with our key clock authorization server. For example, if I want to get a token, I will be using this token. Uh, just a second. Correct. So you can see the post URL which I am using for getting the token, right? Protocol master protocol open ID connect token. So you can see it is the same URL. Okay, so no need of manually getting that information via email or something from the teams. Okay, you need not to ask anyone. You can just hit this public endpoint and you will be able to know each and everything that is supported by the authorization server. Okay, so grant type supported as I was talking about. So you know about the grant types for OR2 and OpenID Connect. So authorization code, implicit, refresh token, password, client credentials, uh, device code, then SIBA profile. So these are the grant types you will get to know about this authorization server. So now, for example, you are interested in device code, but it is not supported here. So it will not come here and you won't be able to interact with this authorization server using the device code, code flow. So that is how you get to know the information of this authorization server then response type supported then subject type supported now again uh, one thing important thing the signing algorithms values or the encryption algorithm values suppose you want to sign the uh, like this authorization server will be signing the tokens using these algorithms only okay so that you can check then for encryption it will be using rsa oap oap 256 and rsa1 underscore 5 then user info signing algorithm values and, and, and many many fields are there okay so you can see uh, all these things over here then registration endpoint for dynamic client registration and for token endpoint authentication what are the methods supported so private key jot or client secret basic client secret post TLS client authentication, client secret JWT, all these are supported by key clock. 
so this is the long list of attributes uh, that is been exposed by key clock open id configuration so your clients can use these information to build the client solution okay so now this was about key clock now if i talk about some other iam or the some other over to open id connect authorization server uh, i will go to the octa okay so this is my dev account and you can see issuer is dev408434 octa.com over to slash default okay and this is the authorization endpoint of this so if we compare this octa is giving very less number of values so it might be possible because of this a uh, dev instance or it might be possible that the um, the profile that is given to me it is not supporting each and everything good thing about uh, this open id connect configuration point is it now if you want to compare two different uh, solutions right you want to compare key clock you want to uh, compare it with octa or with ping id so you can uh, get the uh, json document from all these main uh, well known uh, open id connector endpoint and then you can see right what are the features uh, these uh, in, uh, authorization servers are supporting now you should after watching this video you should be very well aware of what is this well known endpoint okay so this is somewhere it is called web finger as well so this was all about uh, this well known endpoint if you have any queries any questions do put in the comments also if you like the content please subscribe to the channel Thanks and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.